All right, let me know if y'all rocking with your boy, man. Let me know, let me know, let me know. Y'all in here, man? Y'all in here? We gonna, we gonna wait a minute, see if anyone can come in on this one. Oh man, I don't know what happened. Well, I'm lying, I do know what happened. All right, y'all in here. Okay, okay, now we're getting the numbers back up. Hey, nah, man, what happened was, okay, so like I said in my last stream, uh, I'm getting my car worked on, so I needed to get some brakes, and my mechanic just called me, and like I said, I'm on my phone, so it kind of it kind of threw everything off. But, hey, we back, so y'all go ahead and y'all like this. Like this video. The other one I'm going to discard, you know what I'm saying? Disregard, we don't need that one. All right, but we, we live now. It's crazy. As soon as I, like, logged off, I seen all these comments pop up on the video. Yo, did I win? Did I win? Who won in my life? And that's my bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, I apologize for that, guys. That's my bad. Hey, I'm, I'm new to this going live stuff. I don't have all the, like, the, the nice tech that these other YouTube barbers have. Like, they be on their their computers and be streaming in with their cameras. Hey, when I go live, I stream on my phone, man. I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. I do it on my phone. All my editing, I do it on my phone. So it's just it's just easier for me but still we're back live up in here let's run these likes up let's wait i'm gonna wait about another minute or so see if we get more people in here because you know i, I kicked everybody out and that's my bad and it's crazy because i seen y'all's comments but it, it wasn't like loading my actual like visual like i was talking and everything and i saw on my phone that it was just frozen but anyways yeah once again guys it's my bad i apologize let me get in these comments whoever wins congrats i got an iphone i don't know i didn't do it on purpose man i promise I appreciate y'all for coming back. No, Ivy Mac, you did not win. Well, I don't know who won yet. I ain't clicked it yet. George said he's in here. Y'all in here? All right, man, we in here. Let's go. As soon as we hit 20 people in here, I'm going to go ahead and do it. And people are actually leaving. Why y'all leaving, man? I'm, I'm giving stuff away and y'all leaving? Wow. Wow. Now, I'll wait another minute. That boy said the suspense. Hey, man, I'm just trying to get y'all to engage with your boy. You know what I'm saying? Like, if y'all have any questions, let me know, man. Like, I'm here to answer any any and all questions. Man, I'm so mad. The last stream was going so well, too. I had, man. Ah. Oh, well, it's all good. I ain't tripping. That boy, the little nacho style. Don't be laughing at me, man. I don't like being laughed at. <laughs> all right, what well, we got? Where are you located? I'm located in Houston, Texas, bro. Like, well, technically, well, I'm located in Houston, Texas. The shop I work at is in Pasadena, Texas. Uh, matter of fact, y'all can actually just go to my website, tankbechopping.com. I have all my information on there. I just got through fading up with some budgets, hope I win. Hey, hopefully, man, we'll see. 15 likes, 17 watching, I bet. Keep it up. Watching from UK, I appreciate y'all. Yes, man, those numbers are coming up again. What's up, Gil, you say what's up, Tank? Shout out to Houston, straight up, man, I appreciate y'all. Uh, yeah, but I cut here out of Houston, uh, the Southeast area, you know, South Houston, Pasadena, Deer Park, LaPorte area. So if you're in the Houston area and you want a haircut, you can go to my website, tankbechopping.com, or you can go to my Instagram, you know, tank underscore B underscore chopping, and you can actually uh, book through my website or through the Instagram. Been following for a couple of months. I enjoy the barbershop who struggled with the videos. The morning had a super nice video. Yeah, man, like the nice videos, they're cool. Like I'll be watching 360 and I'll be watching Bosio and they're cool, but Honestly, I watch their stuff, but I like watching like the, I don't want to say the budget barbers, but the ones who don't have like the whole shebang, you know what I'm saying? The ones who just do this like on their phone or they got their own camera, they're doing their own editing. I like watching those videos much more. Matter of fact, what I need y'all to do right now, and I'd really appreciate it, y'all go over, well not now, but once this video is done, I need y'all to search up Barber Clips Podcast and y'all subscribe to that channel, man. They're always putting out great content. They got great podcasts. They have me on a couple of their podcasts. They have Jay Blends on some of their po uh, podcasts. And the Barber, you know what I'm saying? Big Al. They got a lot of good people on their con on, on their podcast, and they got a lot of good content, man. Like, so go check them out. It's Barber Clips Podcast. I was actually listening to them right before I went live. I was watching the newest video, and I was like, man, you know what? Let me stop BSing and get on my live. But all right, man. Let's go ahead and run this up. Let's go ahead and see who won. So I uploaded the comment. Uh oh, I uploaded the comments right here. It says start. As you can see, I'm gonna click that button, and once I click that button, it's gonna tell me who won. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click it, man. Let's go. Y'all give me a drum roll. I can't hear no drum roll, guys. That boy Wicho blends. Hey, I can't hear no gun, no drum roll. Y'all must not want to know who won. No, no drum roll. No, I was playing with y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and click this button. I'll be mad with, right, I'm gonna go ahead and click this button right now. Let's go.
All right, it just clicked in. All right, it's going. It's going. Let's see who won. Nico T. Y'all see that right there? I don't know if y'all can see it. Nico.T. He's the winner. I want to win. So he's the one who won. So if Nico T is in here, y'all let me know. If he's not in here, uh, I'm going to have to get a hold of him. And check this out, guys. If, if Nico T is in here, I don't know if he's in here. But if he's not in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give him a week. So we have a week from today. So we have next Sunday. If, if I can't get in contact with him, I'm going to reply to his comment on the actual video and see if he can... Uh, you know what? A lot of people tell me I need to do people. I need to do it like, uh, how can I say it? Do my uh, winners for the people who join into the live streaming. And I think I'm going to start doing that next. But nonetheless, this one, Nico T1. Uh, that's not your middle name, bro. Don't be lying. Nico T1. So I'm going to try to get at him. If I don't get in contact with him, if I can't get his confidence. If I can't get his contact info, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do another one next Sunday. So I'm going to give him a whole week to holler at me. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to try to get at him on uh, on uh, the last video. IV Nico T-Mac. <laughs> hey, T-Mac, that's my boy. But now, like I said, if he doesn't win, uh, if he doesn't get in contact with me, uh, I'm just going to do another live next week and we're going to see who won. And uh, that's basically what I'm going to do, guys. But if any of y'all have any questions before we jump out of here, y'all let me know. I'm, I'm open up to all questions and I'm holding my phone, so I'm, don't don't mind the uh, bad angles. I'm not I'm not a, a big YouTuber like that. I don't have like the best uh, production, but it's all good. As long as I don't have like a savanna behind me. Horse face by Morales. I don't have a savanna behind me. I didn't take my kid's savanna and put it behind me for uh, you know, for the backdrop. But now, man, if you have any questions, that we can run some questions up before I log off uh, or before I get another phone call. But y'all let me know. But if not, go ahead and su subscribe. Well, I'll obviously, I don't even know why I said that. Obviously, y'all subscribe, right? But go ahead and follow, 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 follow me on Instagram at tank underscore B underscore chopping. Go ahead. And, I said that weird. At tank underscore B underscore chopping. Go ahead and head to my website, tankbchopping.com. You know, do all that good stuff, man. All right, let me go up. Someone asked me, are the Mythics heavier than the Cordless Masters? Yes, they are, bro. The Mythics are, they're pretty heavy, man. Any advice I could do to get more clients on Instagram promotion? Uh, any advice for Instagram uh, to get more clients? What I like to do is, or what I, what I was doing when I was trying to build up my clientele was, I would... Uh, Make sure I posted my picture at a uh, at a location close to the barbershop I was at. So, for instance, if there was like a McDonald's down the street or a mall down the street or a Foot Locker or a club or a bar, anything down the street from my barbershop, I would actually put the location at that place. And then I'd click on the location, show all the pictures from that place, and I'd go and I'd like every picture on there for like a couple rows. You know what I'm saying? And that's going to get people to actually see your work they're gonna be like oh who's this dude liking my picture and they click it like oh he's in the area and the next thing you know they're hitting you up for haircuts so i would do that a lot and uh that's really my main thing that i really did and i posted a lot like on my stories and on my page i posted a lot a lot a lot i made sure i tagged my uh the people that i uh the uh the people that i was cutting i make sure to tag them and then they reposted my picture and that helped me a lot too that's all good bro uh, if you can choose one clipper brand what will it be which will it be Oh man, currently, I'll probably have to say, I know y'all gonna be like, oh, he's, he's saying that because he has a promo code, but I would probably have to say Gamma. I feel like right now that they're doing like a lot of big things, you know what I'm saying? And not saying that these other Clipper companies aren't, because other, these other Clipper companies are doing real good, but personally, I just like Gamma a lot. And not to say, like I said, that these other brands aren't good. I have a pair of Walsh. I actually had two Walsh Seniors. I just gave one away. Uh, I have a, I have a pair of Walsh Seniors. I had the Walsh Trimmer. I wasn't big on it. I have two pairs. No, three pairs of Anna's Masters because I really wanted to like those clippers a lot, but they just weren't for me. Uh, I have... I've had so many Babyliss. There was a while when I was like big on the Babyliss Clippers. And the reason why I stopped messing with them, or not not, not that I stopped messing with them, was once I got the uh, the Ergos, those were my go-to Clippers, man. So I just really stopped using the Babyliss. You buying the new GTX for 250 Hell no. Nah, I, I may, but I may not. Uh, if I can get it for cheaper than that, I'll probably buy it. But I don't think it's going to be better than the than the regular uh, cordless uh, Andis. Uh, 
uh, trimmers. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't. I mean, it might be slightly better, but in actuality, man, like currently when it comes to hitting, like, like it's lining up, like the best lines that I get personally are from my Babyliss trimmers or from my Absolute hitters. And that's just for lining. I'm not talking about balding. I'm not talking about taking off bulk, but just for lining, the Absolute hitters and my Babyliss FX hit nice. The new Babyliss trimmer might be better and cheaper. Yeah, the new Babyliss trimmer, I think it is a little cheaper. Uh, I wanted to buy the whole package, but I just don't see myself using the clipper a lot, you know, so I don't, I'm still iffy about buying it, but I do want to buy it because I want to do YouTube videos for it, but I'm not 100% sure yet if I'm gonna get it. Uh, I'll probably get the trimmer and the shaver because I heard the shaver and the trimmer, like, they really hit. So, I might be doing that. Any other questions, guys, before I log off this thing? That new trimmer looks like the slim line. It does look like the slim line. Who won? Uh, the person who won was Nico T. So, if Nico T, if you're in here, let me know. And if you're not, I'm going to try to get a hold of you. Any advice on heavy-handed barbers? Uh, don't be so heavy-handed, man. <laughs> I mean, really, there's no... I mean, I, I used to be a heavy-handed barber, bro. Like, I used to, like... My clients would say that I was kind of rough and I had to just learn. You just have to learn to not be so heavy handed. You know, that's really the only thing I can say. Uh, Gamma or far. Yep. Gamma is my ish, bro. I like the Gammas a lot right now. The Gammas and Starcraft, those are basically my uh, my go-tos right now. Any other questions before I log off for the day? If y'all haven't smashed that like button, go ahead and smash that like button one time for your boy. Any tips or advice for current barber students? Stay learning. Stay a student. Don't ever think you know everything. Uh, watch these older barbers. Watch successful barbers. Ask questions. Uh, try to figure out as much as you can, not just from people who... Basically, people who you want to be in their position, like barbers, if you want to own a shop, talk to owners, see what they think. Uh, if you want to be just a successful barber or a barber who owns a suite, talk to barbers who do that. If you want to be a celebrity barber, talk to celebrity barbers. Talk to the people who you are trying to be like. Gamma works with wall guards. Yeah, man, like uh, for the longest, I was using wall guards on my gammas. I just recently switched to the dubs, the dub, uh, the dub guards, and I like the dub guards a lot. That's all I've been working with, really. Really, any clipper that I've been using, I've been using the dubs, except for the Andes. I use the Purple Magnetics. Have you tried out the Caliber? I have not tried out the Caliber. Uh, I was supposed to buy one, but the reason why I didn't is everyone told me, I'm, I'm gonna say this and people probably gonna come at me for this, but from what I heard, they were like a cheaper knockoff version of Gamma. Now, I'm not saying that's what I'm saying. I'm saying that's what people told me. So I'm not saying this, people, told me this, so that's why I didn't. Uh, that's the only reason why I haven't copped them. I feel like it's the same thing. Is it hard to apply for apprentice at a barbershop? I'm not sure, bro. In, in Texas, they don't allow apprenticeship. You have to actually go to barber school. Any other questions? Caliber is underrated. Uh, Yeah, they might be, man. I know my boy Ivy Mac, I don't know if he's still in here, but I know he rocks with the, uh, the Calibers a lot. And I know my boy Anthony Barber rocks with them a lot too. So I haven't tried them. Uh, one of the barbers at the shop and Caliber Clippers came out before Gamma. Hey, I'm just saying what they told me, man. I don't know. But uh, one of my boys at the shop, he actually uh, he actually has a, a pair of, of Caliber Clippers and he really likes them a lot. But you know what? Now that I say that, he likes them a lot. But yeah, he bought my outfits off of me. So I don't know. What's required to be a master barber? In Texas, uh, a master barber is basically just someone who's been barbering for 10 years. And in 23, would you ever open up a barber shop? Uh, maybe. Uh, that was in the plans a while back, but I, you know, I just, uh, I, it hasn't been something that I've really been trying to do here recently. I've just been really busy with other things, you know, with, uh, you know, my kids, you know, school, you know, we, I have a, well, he's not a newborn, but he's two, he's going to be two in November. Uh, getting my kids back to school, stuff like that, working, just trying to better the shop that I'm in now. So opening up a shop is definitely something that I wanted to do. I still kind of want to do it, but I'm just really busy with a lot of other uh, projects. You know, I did have the uh, the Smooth that I launched, the hair products, and I've kind of been slacking on that. I was trying to do like some clothes, but I've been kind of slacking on that. So I've got a lot of other things going on right now. So the, the shop, you know, I, I would like to open one, but it's just not in the cards right now. Who's your biggest influence in barbering? Honestly, bro, like, man, my biggest influence, man. It's, it's gonna sound like bad, but 
I don't I don't look up to a lot of other barbers like that. You know what I'm saying? Like not to say that I don't think that they're good or great or they do good things, but I just try to strive and be the best that I can be. You know, like as far as like hair like styles of cutting and skill wise, you know, I do look up to like Basio, Stylecraft. Uh, or not Stylecraft, I said Stylecraft, S-Craft Blends, uh, Basio. I uh, look up to people like that who've been in the game for a good amount of time and actually like put in the work and are grinding, you know, uh, 360 Jeezy. People like that, like I don't want to say that I look up to them or that they uh, they influence me a lot, but I do admire their work a lot. So honestly, like my biggest influence would probably be like uh, the barbers that I work with because they push me to be a better me and I push myself to be a better me, you know what I'm saying? So honestly, that's how I feel. I know a lot of people are like, oh, that's that's a, a funny answer, but it's, it's honestly what it is. Like I don't, I've never been like, oh, look at that barber, he's so big. Like I'm not a, you know, I'm not a, I'm not like that, you know what I'm saying? Like I just want to do me and cut hair and enjoy, I enjoy giving y'all the tools and the, the tutorials to get everything right, you know what I'm saying? Do you go to hair shows? I've Man, you know what's crazy is I've only been to two, no, three barber battles uh, my whole barbering career, man. I was supposed to go to one, to the Texas Barber Expo this past year, but my back was really, really bothering me. If y'all been following me for a while, you know your boy is old and I hurt my back and my sciatic nerve was tripping, so I couldn't go because I couldn't even sit down for so long. So I was supposed to go to that one, but I did not. Uh, here in Houston, we have what they do is called Clipper Beast. They do it like uh, every, like once a month. And but they the only reason why I don't go to them is because they do them like on a Friday or a Saturday. And most of the times when they do them, I'm either cutting hair or I got stuff I'm doing with my kids. So I haven't been able to go to those uh, hair shows either. Though I would like to go to them, but I just haven't had the time. And then BarberCon is coming, I think next next month to to Austin. So I might go, but if I do go, it's gonna be a last minute thing. Boss says the goat. Yeah, he is, man. I appreciate all the YouTube barbers, but I want to be my biggest fan. Hey, for sure, bro. Like that's how I am. Understandable. I feel you. I need you to do that barber version and drop a Southside fade. Man, you know what, dude? I want to. I want to. I want to do a Southside fade. Not just. You know what? I need to do another challenge, like a Southside fade challenge, because all these Southside fades that I've been seeing on Instagram and YouTube, they're they're not even really Southside fades, bro. They're like just high fades and. Man, like, that's one thing that really bothers me. And I only have, like, one client that's, you no, know, two clients or three clients in the past, like, five years that I did Southside Fades on, and they don't even get them no more. So it's like, man, I can't even, I mean, I could probably talk them into it, you know what I'm saying? And I used to get a Southside Fade because I was balding back here. You know, the boy's, the boy's bald, man. You see my, my hairline coming up? I ain't got no hair back here. But I used to get a Southside Fade, but I just decided to shave it off, man. But I, I do want to do a Southside Fade challenge. And if I did have the chance to... Uh, get on barber versus that would be something that I probably would do because no barber done that. Everyone's trying to like finesse the game with like this paint and these picture haircuts. And not to say that that's bad, but that's something that I'm not like really big on. Like I, I see stuff like that and I'm like, man, like I feel what they're doing, but it's like, what happened to just cutting hair? Like I know the enhancements, you know, you can argue that, but it's like, what happened to just giving a good haircut, lining them up, and then adding enhancements if they need it, and just being like a nice blend? Now it's more like, not that it's bad, it's just evolved, I guess, but now it's like, they wanna add paint, they wanna do perms, they wanna do roots, they wanna do all this, so it's like, not that it's bad, like I said, it's just something different that I'm really not rocking with at the time. Do you fade faster with detachables? Uh, Sometimes. Sometimes I do. If I'm in a, in a, in a rush, I can do a, a detachable, fade, uh, detachable fade quicker than I can with my adjustable. I, I, have, I have a bad back too if it helps stretch your power. Yeah, for sure, man. I wake up every morning and I walk around and you know I stretch. That helps. Uh, but really what's been helping me is just like not hurting it. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, last time I messed up my back, it was just, I was, continuously doing things to hurt it. Like I, like now I have to cut a couple heads and then just like chill out, sit down for a little bit, walk around the shop, you know, just to, cause the thing about barbering is it's really bad on your back. And the thing, you know, standing up in the same position, in the same spot for a, month, so a long time is bad on your back. Sitting down for too long is bad on your back. So you literally have to alternate every couple, you know, every 30 minutes to an hour. So I can only cut a few heads and then I gotta like sit down or go outside and walk around. So. My schedule's been a little different, but we're working with it, man. We're trying to get better. Hey, man, from London. Hey, what's up, man? I appreciate you from join. Uh, I appreciate you for joining in all the way from London, man. That's that's dope. I, I didn't even know I had. I mean, I didn't know I had people watch me from London, but that's that's. I think that's crazy. Like I'm just, Mr. Barber from Houston, man. Let's go. 
Yeah, true that, me too. How do I join? How you join what, man? The giveaway? The giveaway is already done. That boy Nico.t is the winner. Uh, let me see if I can contact him. Yes, sir. Houston on top. Yes, sir. I don't know what I do. Oh, I found Nico T on YouTube. But yeah, I got any more questions? I got ready to get out of here. All right, guys, well, I'm going to go ahead and jump off. Uh, I've been on this live for 20 minutes. I was on my last live for like 10 minutes. These strokes, the person who won was Nico.t. Uh, like I said earlier, if he doesn't join, or not if he doesn't join, if I can't get in contact with him in these next seven days, I will go live again next Sunday and basically be doing a redrawing. So if he doesn't hit me up on Instagram or on a comment or whatever, uh, I'm just going to do another drawing, man. That's basically what it is. But that's basically it, guys. I appreciate y'all for rocking with your boy. Uh, I'm about to take off, get out of here. Probably go to something to eat. Probably drink a beer. Who knows? Who knows, man? Who knows? Who knows wherever the world takes me? Nah, cool things, bro. Love your channel. Hey, I appreciate it, man. I do have a video dropping tomorrow. I was going to drop it today, but I got busy with, like I said, taking my truck to get it fixed, uh, meal prepping for the week, uh, you know, taking care of the kids, you know, doing stuff like that. So I didn't get to finish editing it and dropping it today, but I will be dropping it tomorrow. I'm gonna finish editing it tonight, do my voiceover tonight, and then I'll be ready tomorrow morning. I'll probably say tomorrow, probably like, at, if I don't drop it tomorrow morning at 10, then I'm gonna drop it tomorrow night, like around six or seven. So y'all stay tuned, man, and make sure you hit that little post bell notification. That way y'all know every time I drop a video and y'all just, that's just, I appreciate y'all for rocking with me, man. I really do. It means a lot to me. And uh, I'm out of here, man. I appreciate y'all. Congratulations to Nico T for winning. And uh, y'all stay up, man. I appreciate y'all. Until next time, let's go.